Hello and welcome back to Foundry. And um, I upgraded my robot construction here a little bit. Um, it's about double what it was before, I think. I upgraded some of these assemblers and added a couple more. So we're still not making very many, but it's better than it was. I think this is about all I can support right now. I did upgrade my electronic components production. Um, I might have to upgrade my power cell production and circuits. We'll see if I want to add any more, which I do, because it's still slow going, but it's better than it was. So that's getting me a little bit more Fermalite, which is great. Uh, but as you can see, it's still not enough. Uh, we're still empty here. Not getting enough Fermalite sheets. We're all out. Do I have any here? I do. It's not going to take off until it's 60... Well, 100% full. Uh, let's change that. 60% full, go ahead and take off. Why not? Bye. Let's get those where they're going. Which is over there. So we're still working on robot assembly. The whole assembly line thing. Uh, here... Yeah, nothing's running because we're all out of Fermilite sheets. But now that we got the ship coming in, um, that should help. So, let's see, we've got arms, we've got legs, we've got everything we need here. The pistons coming in. I got the uh, xenoferrite coming in from down there. I have a little xenoferrite factory down there. And, yeah, so we got that in here. Cool. They only stack to 10, I see. Um, here are the robot heads. Now we need glass. So let's go ahead and do that. I already have a conveyor belt. And there's glass right here. We're going to use this, I guess. Let's just uh, get rid of some of this terrain. Okay, we got a little waterfall thing going here. That's cool. So glass, I believe glass is just, um, we gotta crush this rock. Right, where's glass? Five gravel. Uh, made in a smelter and I get gravel from crushing rocks. Okie dokie. So let's see if we can get this running. I don't think I need a whole lot of it. So I'm not going to worry too much about like... Uh, getting the ratios perfect and all that. There, we'll just uh, start with that. find it. My loader. Uh, 
Okay, let's, we can just do it right up here next to the xenoferrite. Have it output. Like, right there. That's a crusher. I don't want that. Okay, let's we'll just pretty much do it the same way we did here, I think. Pretty much copy the same setup. Um, yeah, I don't know what the ratio is going to be like here. Gravel. Output 30 per minute. Put that in there. Give me that gravel. I want to put it in here. Thank you very much. Input 60 per minute. Okay. So it's the same as what we got here. We need... Uh... Well, no, it's opposite, really. We need two of these for every smelter. Okay, yeah, over here we have one crusher for every two smelters. Uh, this is quite the opposite. That's okay. No problem. We can use crusher level a tier two crushers. Uh, let's get four of them. And we'll just output onto the same belt there. There we go. Amazing. Configure crusher. Gravel. And, uh, that's it. Will I need more than that? I don't know, actually. Maybe not. We're not, um, we're not going to be producing these robot parts very quickly. I don't think I'll need more than this right now. If I do, we'll upgrade it later. Can I get these lined up? Because it looks cool. 
I don't have enough slopes. Perfect. All right, let's uh, get some power here. Which should be easy. Just do it this way. And they should be popping out there. Yay. Look at him go. One piece of glass there on the end. It's beautiful. Okay, so how much glass is this gonna get me? 48 per minute. I really only need it for, let's see, robots. Uh, yeah, for the robot heads. It's more than enough. I've got uh, extra fly speed, jetpack speed is pretty sweet. Okay, where's that glass coming here? Oh, nice. It's actually working. That's it. They need to fix these uh, containers. Um, the way they work now, I think it's last in, first out, which is terrible. Because if I limit it like this, I only want one stack in here. Uh, when it takes out product, it'll take it from the first stack, which is a terrible way to do it. I don't know why they did it that way, but they should not be doing first in, first out. Uh, yeah, let's limit all these containers for now. Alright, um, that's robot heads. Now, robot torsos, a little more complicated. I have the energy cells here. Let's put a container for them. Let's see. Logistics 3. And we're just going to copy this setup here. There we go. It's going to take a long time before we use that many power cells. We're really not going to be using much here, I think. So I don't think that these ships will be making uh, round trips too often. Okay, now the other thing I needed was circuit boards. So we have energy cells, robot parts, fermalite sheets. Uh, we need circuit boards. That'll be easy. Because circuit boards is just electronic components and polymer boards. Uh, we got polymer boards right here. I added another casting machine. So all we're going to do is just...
use a balancer. And let's get some more conveyor slopes. There we go. That's it. Now, how do we actually make the circuit boards uh, in an assembler? Well, we have two assemblers, which again, might actually be all I need. Uh, I'll build one more. Okay, so we're going to do it on this side. And I have two inputs, one output. That'll be the output. There we go. That circuit board's easy. Got everything I need right there. And that'll give me... Oh yeah, oh god, yeah. 24 per minute each one. Way more than I'll ever need. Again, I'm producing these robot parts very slowly. So if I feel like I can do it, basically my limitation right now is Fermilite sheets. That's my main limitation here, I think. That's going to be my bottleneck. So if I can up the Fermilite sheet production, then I can up uh, everything else. And then we can use up all these uh, circuit boards. Now the circuit boards, we're going to need them way up here. Uh, let's get some more assemblers. Actually, I need Fermilite sheets. Because assembler threes require those. Let's take 200 from here. Uh, and... Yeah, let's go back and um, stock up on a few things here. There goes my science. It's, uh, it's happening very slowly. My science was backed up for a while, but that's just because I had a bunch of um, Fermilite stockpiled, but now that's all gone. The stockpile's gone. Alright, do I need any machinery parts? And those things now I need um, foundation pieces. I just like to have a whole bunch of them on hand. Probably need more conveyor belts as well. Okay, good enough. Conveyor belts. I'll grab a stack and a half of that. Throw that away. Alright. 
Let's go back. I shift clicked and yeah, used all my materials to make loaders. I was like, why why can't I make more loaders? Okay. How come this isn't working? Oh, I don't have outputs? Well, that's probably the issue. Stacks to 10. That's fine. We don't need to stockpile it. Uh, okay. Next. So these all take the same amount of time. Okay, so we only need two assemblers. Two assemblers and that's gonna take four parts. Robot part. We're gonna share robot parts. Okay, robot parts there. Circuit boards here. Fermalite sheets. Panel's going to be completely blocked again. Ah, well. Could put it on the other side, I guess, but that side's going to be uh, blocked as well. Hey, look at that. More inventory space. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, this belt will be... Let's see here. boards uh, whoops wrong spot coming in. Uh, Fermalite sheets. Okay, where are the Fermalite sheets going? 
uh, well, they're right here. Um, where do I want to break them off? I guess I could just... Do it up here. Okay. Okay, we're going to do it right at the source. I wonder how it prioritizes uh, which belt it gets output to. Maybe it uh, interchanges belts, I'm not sure. I don't like having it that close to the CPU. Uh, CPU logistics warehouse. That's okay. All right. Uh, now the last thing will be energy cells, and uh, those will be. Coming in here. Let's see, let's get a loader. Uh, second lane loader. Because I want the output to be on the far side. Is that what I did here? No, it wasn't really an issue with these. Yeah, this one takes a lot of materials as an input, so I have to input and output on the same side. Uh, okay. That's fine. Output. Input. There we go. Um, and this is what now? Power cells, energy cells, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Now, uh, we don't have any Fermilite sheets. Uh, let's go ahead and put... I have some on me. I don't want to put all of them. Split this in the 80. Put that down, see where they go. Yeah, they're split between uh, both. Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense, yeah. The logistics container itself has no no limit on uh, input or output rate, just limited by the, uh, the number of loaders attached, I guess. All right, so. There we go, robot torsos. And those are being put in a container. Now all these parts, the torso, the head, the arms and legs, these are all right here in these logistics containers. All those need to be moved 
up here. I guess this will be... The manufacturing, robot manufacturing assembly area. I don't know how much space this is going to take. But, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so we need to start making some of these. I need pistons. I have them... stocked up. Here? Yeah, I got tons of them. I don't need that many. Okay. So we need one start and I, th I think I don't know exactly how this is going to work but I need one start and then several producers. Okay, that's the start. the robot torso producers a machine that performs a certain task on the product that is coming through like adding an arm or a leg to a torso and I'll probably need a bunch of rail pieces and then at the end a painter okay let's start with a Assembly line start, and a producer. And I need more Xenofire plates and all this stuff. Yeah, a lot of plates. So I'm gonna need at least a few producers. I'm guessing at least three. But maybe more. Depends if, on if I need uh, separate producers for each arm. Left arm, right arm. Let's make another producer. A painter. Okay. Another producer. Six assembly line rails. Okay, this will be enough to get started. So basically, I'm just going to I'm just going to put a bunch of these things down and just to get an idea of how much space this is going to take cuz I don't know how big they are, although it does say 7 by 8 by 15 um which sounds large. I don't think that's actually that huge, but we'll see. So, let's say uh assembly line start Nah, it's not that big. Okay, so we got arrows for direction. Say we're going to start over here. No grid connection. Cool. So this is all um, high voltage grid stuff. Uh, power pole, large. Let's get um, our over here real quick. Try to stay mostly <laughs> lined up.
Okay. Configure service robot. Alright, so we input the torsos through... Wow, uh, that is so fast. I'm guessing that's an input. It's hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's where the torsos go. Um, now. Assembly line producer. See if we can just connect it directly. Now, do we have to select what to do here? Let's see. Or does it just take an input and try to put it on whatever is coming through? Okay. I see. Configure. Attach arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, left leg. Okay. Oh, we have to weld them too. Okay. Attach head. Okay, so we're, we're going to need a lot of... There's a lot of steps here, basically. Attach left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, and then weld them all. That's eight steps. Uh, and then the head. That's nine steps. I see. And then we paint it. And we can choose a color. Oh my god. It's hideous. Let's go with orange and... I want like black and orange. Not really a thing though. Blue and orange is fine. Here we'll do right arm blue. Or so blue. That looks hideous. And that takes liquid paint. We also need a sales warehouse. Um, paint. I assume it has to be painted before we send it in. How do I get paint? Okay, so that's something I'm going to need. Olamite gas, water, low density olamite. Alright, that's not super complicated. That's something I can make pretty easily. Alright, and then all of that goes into the... gigantic sales warehouse. Which has a big hole in it. Does that match up here? Yeah, I think that would connect. It's kind of hard to line them up, but I think that would work. Assembly line rail. Oh, okay. These pieces are very short. I'm gonna need more of them, I think. Um, yeah, I think I understand how this is gonna work. All right. So uh, yeah, we'll give this a go next time. We're going to need to get the paint, and then um, I think that's all we need. I need a bunch more of these assembler stations. I think I'll have room here, but is there a speed on these things? Because do I need a lot of these, or how many of these will we be able to produce per minute? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, 
well, yeah, it's not going to say here, I think. I don't know. I have no idea how fast or slow this is going to go. Alright, anyway, we'll figure this out next time. Uh, yeah, should be interesting. Finally getting assembly lines running. It's going to be great. I'm going to delete all this right now. And we'll redo it later. Whoops, don't make that. Oh, dang it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.